guys so i have a bunch of packages that i need to open and then i'm gonna run errands today and i just want to do some fun fall stuff in this vlog i'm drinking a chai tea and it's so warm and comforting but um i'm just gonna open up some packages with you guys run some errands i want to do a fun little art project with my son and get his little prints for this year i think it'll be fun to get out every year in the future and yeah we're just kind of going with the flow and having like a fun fall type day so yeah i ordered just a bunch of really good fall staples um i ordered some skims lululemon and then i have some amazon packages from amazon i ordered a clear like dry erase board that i can put on my um fridge so i can write like to-do lists and things because i love the calendar i have it's just it looks so like clean and simple and i just i really love it so i'm gonna go put that on my fridge i ordered another sweater last year i ordered this sweater from amazon i ordered it in a large and in the cream color and i just i wore it all the time so i wanted to make sure that i got my hands on a black one this year they're just like such a good easy throw on um staple to have for the fall and i also picked up this gray fitted sweater from abercrombie abercrombie makes some of the, the comfiest sweaters i just think they're such a good price too like 60 dollars for a sweater is very reasonable i feel like i like how the length of the arms on the sweaters from abercrombie are like long and they're just so like soft and cozy and then i ordered two t-shirts from skims the raglan vintage t-shirts are my favorite tops from her so they're really stretchy and they don't damage when you wash them so yeah i got the color army oh and i can't wait to see what this color looks like this is the new vintage t-shirt in the color stone oh and also this one's just like slightly cropped it's not too cropped it's like the perfect length to just kind of sit above high waisted pants oh, yes i love this color and then this one's like a longer t-shirt but um it will tuck into pants really well and stone these were sold out on the skims website so if you ever can't find something on the skims website always check nordstrom and then i also ordered the tasman uggs from nordstrom i just love everything platform this year but um i actually ordered the color mustard seed from the ugg website even though they're back ordered so i'm gonna return these just because the red on it just kind of irks me so i'm gonna switch them out i'm gonna return those and just have the mustard seed color which is closer to i was wearing these so they're right next to me but they're closer to like a lighter nude I guess only one part of my Lulu lemon order came. The other thing I got was um, the dark olive aligns. And I usually just like to have like simple black aligned pants, but I do love my olives and army green. So I thought I would just order it and see if I like it. One of my favorite staples from Lulu is the Define jacket. Um, I do prefer the hooded Define jackets, but Okay, this looks very similar to the sage green color I had before, but I saw this color. Um, this is the color Nomad, and it's almost like an in-between like taupey brown army green. And these Define jackets like suck you in, which is so flattering. I really, really recommend them. They just kind of like, when you zip them up, they just, they like sent you in. So yeah, I hope they come out with more items in this color because this is really pretty. They had the Philosophy Fresh Cream and Warm Cashmere on sale during the 21 Days of Beauty. All this stuff is um, little 21 Days of Beauty pickups that I got. Mm. This smells exactly like the Sabrina Carpenter one that I talked about in my other video. Like almost exactly. Mm, it's like chocolatey cashmere, vanilla hot chocolate that kind of scent which is one of my favorite scents so that's really nice and i picked up a bunch of lip products from juvia's place so i got so the luxe liner and sweet nothing looks like a really good beigey brown nude Ooh, i've been looking for liners to replace my kkw um lip liners she had announced she was coming back and she's still not back so i don't know what's happening with that but that is a really nice shade don't mind how pale i am that is so cool it has like a design let's see sand it's like a really nice neutral peach 
shade. I might try. Let's see. I already have lipstick on, but it's a really pretty shade. And then I also got this gloss from the coffee shop collection in the shade Dolce Latte. Ooh. It's just like a sheer um, peachy nude. I'll try it right now. So, yeah. That's some of my fall finds. I am going to do like a fall favorite slash essential soon. So if there's any category you want me to mention in that, let me know. But um, yeah, let's go run some errands. And then later tonight, I'm going to put up my Harry Potter lights in my dining room. And, um, and then I want to also get Ocean's cute little handprints and footprints on some little boards that I got. So that is the plan. Say it on the spider. But um, yes. You can find this shirt in the color stone on Nordstrom. Oh. 10 out of 10. Love this. Don't have a bra on, but I love the color of the dark olive lines. These are size 6 and they're a little loose. But I feel like I get pilling if I get a size 4. And then this is too big. Usually I get a size 6 in defined jackets, but I think I need to get a 4 in this. So. So I just got to Tempe Marketplace. You might hear Ocean sleeping. He always falls asleep in the car. But um, I have some returns. So I need to go to Bath and Body Works and Sephora. And there's a Marshalls over here. So I think I'm gonna go run in one last time for my last little, um, yeah, this will definitely be my last time shopping for Halloween because I have more than enough stuff. I wanna see what's in there now that it's actually almost fall. And then I need to go to Target because we need just boring stuff like toilet paper. Um, but I also want to see if Target has like a crow because I feel like that's what one little section in my apartment is missing. Also, I think I want to try to vlog all the way through the weekend because Saturday I'm going to a concert. I love his little snore. Okay, <laughs> let's go see if Marshalls has any gems while I'm here and yeah get shopping oh and there's an H&M over here so I think maybe we should go try on some stuff at H&M too but okay let's go that's cute little napkin holder I'm so tempted to get another one I might we're all falling and we need a place to hide A safe place somewhere in the woods We can start the fire All we know is what will be Our home We will stay until The break of dawn rid of the Halloween section and it's not even fall yet so I've never felt so validated for shopping in July for fall stuff I can't they literally have like nothing so they had another three tier skull candle holder and I almost bought that because I feel like for next year having two of them on each nightstand would be really nice oh there's someone watching me ah! but um I got myself some mad greens uh the paloma salad it's an apple salad and it's so good but um at PacSun, I just got a bunch of little dainty earrings. I forgot how affordable the John Galt collection is. I got tiny little silver and gold hoops for only $6.
I really like these little hoop snap crosses. These were only $6 too. I'll show you what I got from H&M when I get home because I think Ocean, Ocean's ready to go home. So I, and I still have to go to Target. So I'm gonna try to do that real quick. Okay, Ocean's doing fine. I just, I decided the sun's gonna go down. So I'd rather just show you guys. I only got three things. So I'm just gonna show you real quick. I got that t-shirt that I tried on that says Blondie. Blondie was my sister's, like one of her favorite musicians. So it reminded me of my sister. So I wanted to get that. And then I feel like a lot of people think this is like an ugly grandpa sweater, but this, I love this color green and I love that it's oversized and it was $19. So yeah, I love the fit of this, how it's oversized. And then this sweater, I love how oversized this sweater is. So it has like it buttons up and then it has these like bell sleeves and oh, I just love it. When I rung it up, it was $13. So yeah, the only thing with this is it's not very soft, which I don't love, but for $13, this was such a good find. And yeah, that's my little speed haul. I'm gonna go into Target now. I'm gonna try to be really quick at Target because I'm so ready to be home. Okay. It's so cute. You got mama's water bottle? All right, let's see if we can find a crow. Ocean, what do you think of these? Oh, oh, who is that? Oh, I love that guy. What do you think? Are they spooky? Okay, let's see if we can find a crow. There's the spider that I used. So cute. What do you think of all the baby? You sleepy honey bun. I like, those signs are cute. Okay, I cannot wait. I'm gonna open one of these right now because it looks so good. Okay, I'm back home. So I want to first, let's try this Spindrift sparkling water and what is this? Spiced apple cider. It's really not that good. Okay. <laughs> I really didn't get much, but I do want to show you guys my new shower routine, my little hygiene ritual. Like I got coffee, tax, taco, um, like salsa stuff. Got a new mop head, like kind of boring stuff. But I did get ooh, Dove chocolate. I got a white pumpkin candle because I like to get this scent every year and I didn't get this one. So one of the candles I got came broken, so I exchanged it for white pumpkin. I think I'm gonna burn that tonight. And then I finally remembered to get a new lighter. They didn't have like any cute ones. But my new shower routine, it's gonna be so good. Every season, I feel like it's good to go through, kind of clear out your shower and then um, restock it. So um, I got the Tree Hut Cinnamon Dolce scrub they came out with a lot of seasonal scrubs this year but a lot of them didn't even 
home didn't smell that good, but I did think this one smelled the best. So I, I like to always keep a scrub on hand um, to go along with that. I also got the sweet cream whipped um, shea butter body butter. And this just smells like, uh, like a cold brew sweet cream. It smells good, just like vanilla. But um, I have been obsessed with this Frenchie. I don't know how you say it, but I love the lotion that I have of this. I kept seeing this brand on TikTok, and when I smelled it, I wasn't that impressed. When it blends in with your skin, it just smells so much better. It's just like the perfect creamy vanilla, but it's like a very modern vanilla. Kind of like, um, like a Baccarat type scent with vanilla, if that makes sense. I don't know. So I got the Cashmere Vanilla Body Wash and the oil my skin's been so dry and i ran out of one of my body oils i usually just use like a grapeseed oil all over my body but i'm running low on that so i thought why not get this um, it smells so good so um and it this one sells out so if they have it while you're at target definitely pick it up and then while i was checking out i was looking all over the store for the um, myers holiday scents so when I was checking out, I saw it, so I just grabbed two randomly. For the dish soap, I went with the acorn spice, and I didn't really have time to smell it. Mmm, that smells good. And then I always get um, the apple cider scent. This just makes cleaning up the kitchen and just wiping everything down a little bit more fun. That's my quick little haul. And I think I'm just going... Oh. Kidoki, Ocean just threw a candle across the room. <laughs> to keep him entertained, I put one of the candles from up here over there in his little playpen, but he just threw it across the room. Oh, God. I'm gonna lay in bed, eat my mad greens, watch my best friends. Uh, they just uploaded their decorate with me, so I'm gonna watch their video, and then I'm gonna edit my decorate with me because that will be up already by the time you watch this. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna relax the rest of the night. So I will see you guys when I see ya. Got my mad greens. This looks so sad, but this is the best salad ever. If you can ever get the Paloma salad from Mad Greens, it's so yummy. I'm gonna eat my salad and watch and watch my best friends. Right, it's all painted and I just have to wait for it to dry and I can get ocean little foot on there, huh baby? And then over here, I just did a few different colors. I think I'm gonna do, Wallen doesn't want me to. He thinks I shouldn't get his butt out, but I think it's cute. I've seen people do butt prints of pumpkins. And I might just write the word spooky with his hand prints and then trick or treat smell my feet on this one. So 
yeah. Fun little art day one. So it is a new day. I didn't get ready today, but I'm working on this little art project for Ocean's Feet. So I don't know how difficult this will be to paint um, the words. Easy. If you get a thin paintbrush, this will look a lot better. This is kind of <laughs> difficult. Ah, why is it so hard? It's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. We are just being creative, okay? that to me I hate my writing but you know, like with grief I think about all these things now where it's like this kind of thing I hate but like to someone else it would mean the world of just like that I made it so you gotta embrace the imperfections a little bit okay which I really need to work on because I can be a bit of a perfectionist Working on a little project. What do you think? You can put your little feet on here. Ooh. You wanna help me? <laughs> Sleepy boy. Okay, you ready? Let's see. How do we wanna do this? Can you practice putting your little foot? One. Is this good? All right, we've got his foot. Two, three. Oh, we didn't get the toes. Get your cute little toes printed. Yikes! No, it's so far. Is this funny to you? Let's try this one. I really hope we can get it this time. You're right. What? You want to press it? Yeah. That's what we were trying to do earlier. Um, I might try to paint over this with black and try again with less paint. Are you clapping? <laughs> you cracked me yeah, up. Yeah, this did not. <laughs> this does not look like my vision. So, if any of you are moms out there and you know how to do these prints, this was my first time trying. And I think I used too much paint, so if you have any tips, I think I might paint over it with black and come back to this. Please let me know. I'm sure like nobody stayed till the end of the video, but if you did, help a girl out. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.